getting more clients, you get more sales. And more sales means more income. It's simple. We're all doing it to make more income, to make more of an impact. Welcome to the Final Expense Sales Academy, the hub for mastering the art of final expense life insurance sales. If you're looking to become a pro in the final expense industry, you're in the right place. My name is Kyle Williams, and I'm your host to go through the ins and outs of the final expense business from tips to tricks to industry insights. We cover everything you need to close deals with confidence, provide true value to your clients, and become a better insurance agent. So hit that subscribe button. Let's get started on elevating your sales game one video at a time. Guys, in this episode, we are going to discuss different ways that we can get more clients as a final expense life insurance agent. So this is a question that every salesperson in every industry more than likely asks themselves at some point in time. And so, and the reason why we ask it is, is because by getting more clients, you get more sales and more sales means more income. It's simple. We're all doing it to make more income, to make more of an impact. Uh, so as an insurance agent, we all have the same goal in mind to sell life insurance. Don't matter what agency you're a part of, doesn't matter what state you live in. It really doesn't matter even if what niche you're in, in the, in the life insurance space, we're all trying to sell more life insurance. So each agency, has different modes in which they obtain clients. So let me break down what I mean. Some agencies are solely based on purchasing leads. Some agencies are solely referral slash friends and family based agencies. Some are solely social media based. Some are com only community based uh, agencies and some are workplace based agencies. So they go into the workplace. And then some are just some random specialty niches. So those are the different ways that uh, agencies acquire clients uh, in their mode of marketing. So if you ask whoever the leader is in your organization, how can I get more clients? More than likely, I'd say nine out of 10, are going to lean in and tell you to get better at the practice that the agency specializes in. So let me give an example. If you're an agency who works leads, if they somebody if somebody comes up to to that leader and says, "I want to get more clients," they're going to tell you to buy more leads. If you are an agent who specializes in, if you're an agency that specializes in referral based or friends and family based agencies, and they're going to tell you to you know go out and ask for more referrals, talk to more people, get talk to more friends and family, etc. If it's social media based, they're going to tell you to post more. They're going to lean in to whatever that is because that's, honestly, that's really all that they know. And they may be right, and but they also may may not be right. Um, it is true, but it's not the only way. Okay. So if you're asking this question, you are more than likely one of two people. You are either a a super high producer, and you feel like you've reached your bandwidth on that particular mode of uh, acquiring clients, or number two, you are a struggling insurance agent having a hard time acqu acquiring clients with the current mode in which the agency wants you to acquire clients. So both can be true and exist at the same time. Each person is not cut out for different types of customer acquisition modes. You have to find the one that's the right fit for you. So let's break down each agent for an example. So let's say that you are a high producing agent. So the easiest way, if you're a high producing agent, and doesn't matter which specialty niche that you're in, whether you're buying leads, your friends and family, your workplace, etc., it doesn't matter. The first thing that you want to do is you want to capitalize on just strictly referrals from your current customer base. That is the easiest way, the cheapest way to get more sales is by just simply getting more referrals. So focus on referrals. If I was a high producing agent, if I was talking to a high producing agent, um, that is exactly what I would advise them to do because you, your pool is so huge and your influence is so large. Capitalize on the referrals. Focus on the referrals from your current customer base because you're already doing something right. So let's not go bust something up. So once you do that, if you're still not sufficient, the next thing that I would do 
is I would dip into a m mode of customer acquisition. Um, one of the ones that you mentioned above that goes parallel with your current mode of customer acquisition. So give an example. Let's say you're an agent who's buying leads. So you can just buy more leads, but may not always be the most optimized thing to do. So what you can do is you can either lean into your community or you can lean into social media, one of the two. But you don't want to do it enough where it takes away from your main thing that you do and that you're doing well, okay? So find a way to maximize your time on that, all right? So that is, if you're a high-producing agent, that is my advice for getting more clients there. Now, more than likely, if you're watching this video, you're a struggling agent. You're having a hard time. The first thing that I would do is let's not there, drop the atomic bomb on things, okay? The first thing that you want to do is you want to lean into your manager, lean into your training uh, leader, whoever it is, and let's get more training on your mode of customer acquisition, whatever that specialty is that your agency does. Let's get more training on that to make sure that we're not deficient in some area. Let's do that first. If we do that and it still doesn't work, the next thing that you'll need to do is you'll need to move to a different type of customer acquisition. So let me give an example. Let's say you start off by uh, starting off in a friends and family referral base system. If it's not working for you, maybe it might be wise to uh, step into a lead base where you're purchasing leads. It, purchasing leads is always the easiest because you have somebody working for you generating interest and all you have is a name and a phone number and an address and you go there and try to drum up interest. So it's an easy way to put fuel in the fire. Now it does cost money, but it can get you sales. It can be a good ROI. Um, so, and then if neither one of those work for you as a struggling agent, if you've leaned into more training, you tried a different uh, method, probably leads, uh, then it may be time to look in the mirror and reevaluate. Okay. So I hope this video has got your mind churning on how to obtain more clients. There is no silver bullet, no perfect way. There's no magic formula. There's no right way that works for everybody. Everybody's different. There's different types of sales. There's all that, everything. The thing to do is to really get your mind churning on how you can maximize and what you can do and lean into the people around you because they can really help you. This is just a, an idea to get you thinking, sit back, take a couple minutes and see uh, what it is that you can do to, to maximize your clients and get more clients. Uh, so I hope you receive something valuable here. Uh, be sure to subscribe so that way you catch all our latest content. If you receive something valuable here, share it with your friends, share it on social media, and comment below what was your favorite piece of content in this episode, and we'll see you in the next one.